Hi and welcome to InSpace Labs. Now obviously the first thing that you need to do before you can use a database is create a database file. And in this video we're going to be looking at how easy and quick and simple it is to do that using InSpace. For full documentation about InSpace then please visit docs.embarcadero.com and visit the InSpace option on that page to get uh, the quick start user guides and manuals. Now there's two ways to create a database using InSpace. We can either use IB Console or we can use ISQL, the command line interface. Now we're going to start off today by having a look at how we can create a database using IB Console. So first off, just need to open up IB Console and there's here in my local server which I'm going to connect to. Uh, I could also connect across to my Mac machine from here as I've already registered this in a previous video. And if you want to find out about an introduction to IB Console then please have a look at the previous video on an introduction to IB Console. However once we're connected to our server we can see this with a nice screen tick. We need to go to database and create database. And this brings up the create database page. Now I have a folder called C data which I'm going to put my um, file into. So I'm just going to go C for colon backslash data and I'm going to call this testdb.ib. And IB is the default extension that's used for interbase databases. You may also find .gdb extensions that are out there and they're more kind of from previous versions, um, but typically .gdb or IB will be used for interbase databases. Now we can split this database over multiple files, and if we want to do that, then we can come in here to the additional files option and set the, the offsets for those. And that's the number of pages that's going to be used within each version of, of the, the file. However, we're just going to use a single file because that's the most common usage of uh, an interface database now. Okay, so the, the best default options are, are preset for us, um, but I'll quickly explain what the different options are here. Interbase has a page size and records may be multiple pages long. Um, however, depending on how big your tables are, um, it's ideal to have a record on a page so if you need to be over multiple pages, then it may be worth having a slightly bigger uh, page size and that can improve performance because you're not pulling up so many pages. It's, uh, if you've got blobs in your database that are over 4K, then it's worth looking at maybe if you need an increased size. And also depending on what you're doing with your indexes, if you've got some very big indexes, it may be worth having a look at the page size. Um, but if you have a look at the documentation, there's some help in there to refer to the size of the indexes that you're using and get some stats from the indexes to help you pick which page size is correct for you. But by default, 4096 is a pretty good size to go for and gives a good balance of performance. If you're running multiple platform, then you need to consider which char set to use. And um, you, know, you may want to look at either using uh, an ASCII or UTF-8 uh, or Unicode char set and that enables the database to control the char set that's being used. If you use the default operating system char set, then you may find that when you're connecting through from different operating systems, that the char set you're trying to use by default may be slightly different. So you're best off to define a char set rather than allowing the operating system to pick one up. If you're only ever going to be using the database on Windows and it's for Windows only, then it really doesn't matter. But if you are looking to use multiple platforms, then picking a char set is a good thing to use. The other thing we have to choose here is the SQL dialect. Now, SQL dialects 1 and 3. 3 is the best one to use. Um, 1 is an older version of the dialect that has some support for kind of date times and um, it's, it kind of it stores the date times as a single value that you then have to work through. SQL Dialect 3 introduces separate dates and times, um, so it's a, a lot more flexible to work with. 
Again, there's more about the SQL dialects in the documentation, but dialect 3 is normally the best one to go with. We also have the ability to embed user authentication into the database. Now, this is important if we want to hide our username and, deep and password into the database. This also prevents anybody taking a database from one machine where they know the username, moving it to another machine, setting up a user with the same name, and being able to access into that database. So embedded authentication is a good level of security to use on databases. Now finally we have some information about our usage in IB console that's set up. So we can set up that by default sysdba is the username for the, pass for the database, master key will be the password. However, if we set here to save the password when we create the database, it will create an alias for us here without us having to then register the database as well. Oh, actually, one thing I haven't mentioned here so far is the allocation of pages. You can pre-allocate pages into a database um, for use per table, uh, and that helps kind of keep data together within the file, which can improve performance. So if we just OK here, we can now see we have a blank database created, no, da no tables, domains, indexes, or anything in here. We can go ahead now and create our own tables and go about using our database.